This automated election system is not owned by Smartmatic. The elections are over, but some issues just refuse to go away, like allegations of cheating in favor of administration candidates. Hindi na po namin kayang tisi ng pangyayari nito. Itong bansa natin ay ito, lagi na lang itinatabi yung katotohanan. Iproklama lang natin kahit na mali. Nanguna si Sen. Bongbong Marcos na may 26%. Nanguna si Marcos na may 28%. Sen. Rodrigo Duterte at Bongbong Marcos ang inindorso ng Inglesya ni Cristo. Wagi si na Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte at Sen. Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. sa ginawang exit polls ng Manila Broadcasting Company DZRH sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao at sa National Capital Region. They were not supposed to change anything without our knowledge and permission. Kapunan po na umano na nagka-glitch at pansamantalang nahinto ang transmissions matapos mapadala ang 75% ng mga resulta. Doon po umano nagsimula manguna si Robredo. Pero duda dito si Contreras dahil may pattern sa resulta. Kung ganun yun, ibig sana nag-taper off din yung lamang ni Marcos. Eh, hindi ba't naging constant? Napansin ni David na nagsimulang mag-flip nung 75% na yung transmission. What would be the reasons for Smartmatic to change a script or a hash code? What would be the, the elements necessary for that? Wala akong maintindihan. I cannot think of any reason. Dapat hindi eh. Because Comlec is in top of it. So if they did it without informing Comlec, red flag na yan. It's a breach of the integrity of the whole electoral process. We believe this is a national security issue. There is no way that companies belonging to corporations should have access to our elections. Ah, ang binotos ko po ay po si Vice President si Marcos, pero ang lumabas po hunasan. Sa video ng ito, may kita mo na kapatong patong na mabalota. Lahat ito, iisang tao lang tao ang nagshade. Sa LP po sila nagfocus. Ang inano lang talaga nila don, dun sa LP, yung kay Vice. Lobredo. 